Good morning, my beautiful collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ling a ling. Damn it, y'all. Oh. Those of you that watch the live, I have to let Jackie out to go potty. This Queen of Pentacles energy. Let's find it, y'all. Let's find it. When the one you love's in love with someone else, don't you know it's torture? I mean, it's living hell. That's not him. Let's talk about this Queen of Pentacles and this uh, Where is he at? There we go. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Let's talk about this, y'all. Yo. Be careful what you wish for. Be careful who you want attached to you because you can end up putting you in a position that isn't good. You see that Queen of Pentacles? She's sitting there, no arms. She can't do nothing. She she can't do nothing, y'all. She's just stuck there. She's at the mercy of this King of Pentacles. And look, he ain't worth shit to her. Look. Look how sad that is. King and Queen of Pentacles. Why would you stay with somebody knowing that they can't help you at all? Look at that energy. It's so sad. Right? You wanted him, you got him, hun. But what fucking good is he to you? Right? Some of you all. What, what is this energy? Careful what you wish for, because you just might get it, but you're not going to get the full package. You're not going to get the dream that you want, right? Be sure the her who you are dependent upon is able to help you out, because you could get attached to somebody that's going to leave you unable to do anything, because they can't do anything in their own life. So we're going to do a quick little insight into the Queen of Pentacles and this King of Pentacles energy. I don't know, Collective, which side of this you're on, but I was drawn because this is this is a um, this is a situation for somebody. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful collective oh sweet jesus y'all fucking a what the hell is that look at this you all notice that chain like it i don't it's like it's attached to that fur coat she's got around her right like she's so trapped by whatever the fuck the the beauty is right but look she can't go nowhere Look how beautiful and refined she is. But look, her hands are tied. She can't do a fucking thing. Y'all, she couldn't even wipe her own ass. But look who she's dependent upon. He can't even wipe his own ass. He's probably sitting there pissing himself <laughs> as, it, as it is, right? Look at this energy. Sweet Jesus, y'all. This is sad. This is sad as fuck. Careful who you get your dependency on. Careful who you make yourself dependent upon. Are they going to be able to follow through at the end of the day? Or are they going to be at 444 on the clock as I said that? Or are they going to be like this hot fucking mess that can't even take care of themselves? But you're dependent upon them to fucking...
careful who you bind to yourself because you know what? Are they going to be of, of, of use to you? Four of Wands. With the Four of Pentacles. 44. Life lesson to be learned. Four of Wands energy. Does that look like a happy home to you? Four of Pentacles. Holding on. But who's, who's protecting who here? Right? You see there's one person in there that's hoarding all that for themselves. They're not letting anybody else in. This is a life lesson someone had to learn. But you know what? The thing is, Spirit was guiding them the whole time on the telly there. This is part of the room in that hermit mode. Let's just discuss this real quick. When you're given all the information that you need, and yet you still refuse to listen to Spirit, She's sitting there reading a book. She's preoccupied, right? Spirit's on TV there, the Hierophant. She's getting the information that she needs. She's getting the downloads that she needs. But she ain't paying any fucking attention. And look, there's the zombies at the window. She's being watched. She's too engrossed in that book she's reading. Instead of paying attention to Spirit. When Spirit's putting all the answers, all the downloads, all the everything she needs right in front of her. H H could mean something. That's such a horrible energy, guys and gals. Be careful who you bind yourself to because are they able to take care of you and themselves? Be careful who you bring into your situation, especially if you one of these days or some of these days have to depend upon them. Are they going to be able to take care of you? They could barely take care of their own fucking self. Okay, Spirit, and I've seen 717 as I said that, yo. So what's going on here? What's up with this Queen of Pentacles energy? Why did she why did she cut her own hands off to spite her own face? What's up with this? I don't normally take that many, y'all, but that's what wanted to come out. So let's see what's going on. Nine of Swords, she thought she could save somebody. She thought if she trapped him, she could save him. Head over heart. But you see, the brain is that way in the heart. The heart's not there. The love's not there. Be careful who you bind yourself to. Because as you trap them, they're going to trap you. Knight of Cups, the Will of Fortune. That aim is his aim as good as it used to be. That will of fortune is his aim as good as it used to be. Eight of hazards, seven of cups. What is their mental capacity? What are they on that uh, uh, alters their mental capacity, right? How many people are on their mind at any given point in time? Seven of cups. How many points of contacts there? Look at that. Two of Cups in the Chariot. I'll be home for supper, baby. But someone's in their brain. Someone's in their head thinking. Thinking the whole time. Where were they in that chariot? You see that chariot? There's a fucking casket coming out the back. There's people. Look, this person creates havoc wherever the hell they go. There's bodies thrown everywhere. I'll be home for supper, sweetie. But what'd she get out of it? The reason why she lost her hands? The fucking greed. The gifts. The jewelry. The finer things. The finer things that trap. Ten of swords. She's stuck with a man that just... Uh, is basically killing himself from the inside out. Nine of Wands. Everyone is watching it. I'm dying inside. And everybody knows it but me. Look, he's like cutting himself up. He, he's like destroying himself. But everyone's just sitting there watching. 
because no one wants to come in and save him. Three of swords. His broken heart is basically tearing him apart. And everyone is watching. She's watching this. And now she's so bound by material things or whatever the fuck she thought she needed that that's what basically bound her. Right? What she gained by falsely trying to imprison somebody, she lost control of at the end of the day. Be careful what you wish for. Be careful who you bind to you. Because their aim might not be as good as it used to. What do they have that alters their, their mind? What's going on in their head? Do you really know? Be careful who you bind yourself to. I'll be home before supper. He's got the cleaver there. While he's eating himself up and tearing himself up inside, he inadvertently cut her hand so she can't go nowhere. Right? If she tried to trap him, he just trapped her as well. If I can't go nowhere, neither can you. I bought it, it's mine. I'll take it back. But instead of taking it back the right way, right? He just took the whole damn arm. The thing is, there's a lot of people around that's seeing it that ain't doing a fucking thing. These are the gawkers and stalkers, right? They're just watching it happen. Waiting for the countdown. 1144. So that's the feminine energy. But balance, right? Someone thought they could bring balance to a situation. Manipulation. But the head wins out. The mental side of it. Versus the love. Wow, this is some fucked up energy. Be careful who you think you can save or trap. Because inadvertently. It's going to blow up on you. Eight of Cups here. With the Seven of Wands. Look. She's pushing him down the fucking steps. And she got a fucking gun in her hand. Six of Wands. It's going to make the news. When this world comes shattering down. But you see in his head. He's down there with somebody else. Or maybe in her head. She's down there with somebody else. While all this shit is going on. Right? When the one you loves in love with someone else. Ooh. So there's the Queen of Pentacles. There's her story. Those that try to trap and bind. Be careful who you bind to you. Mm. Sweet Jesus, y'all. That is not a good space to be in. This King of Pentacles energy. What's his story here? You all see, look. I just noticed that. He ain't even got no fucking feet. He couldn't get up out of there even if he wanted to. Clarify this King of Pentacles, right? You wanted to bind somebody, but you bound them to the point that now they can't move or do nothing. Kind of that War of the Roses type energy, right? You might find a loophole, but <laughs> that loophole might not be exactly what you thought it was going to be. Sweet Jesus. Clarify this King of Pentacles energy for us. Please and thank you, Spirit. <sighs> Page of Wands. Is there a child in the picture now? Someone tried to trap somebody with a child that they didn't want? How do we think that's going to work out, guys and gals? KP could mean something. Look. Now there's no leaving. For the rest of their life, they're bound by the child. The child that they created. They can't go anywhere now. There's a child involved. Splitting image. That child's going to inherit... All the traits of the father. Good or bad, right? It's a crapshoot. Clarify this 
King of Pentacles and this Page of Wands. Eight of Cups. Maybe they tried to get away, right? But as they were leaving, that's when the news came. Well, they couldn't go nowhere. Flight's been canceled. Plans have been delayed. Guess what? There's a storm of brewing. There's no child yet. There's one on the way. Eight of Cups, please and thank you, Spirit. The ties that bind. Once a child is born, that child's with you for the rest of your life. So is whoever it's attached to, right? Baby mommy, baby daddy energy. You're never getting rid of that relationship. At least not in a healthy way. Clarify this. What's going on here? Knight of Swords. It's a struggle. Six of Swords. Right? But as he's a Kareen, uh, serenading her. Look at the dead bodies underneath. Look at the ones floating to the top. She's just oblivious to it. But she kind of knew what was up, right? She had a plan the whole time. He didn't fucking realize it. Knight of Swords. Guns blaring. This person is definitely having an inner conflict. Definitely an inner, inner conflict going on. Ten of Hazards here. Look. There's the baby. There's the mommy. There's daddy in there. But look, they got the ghost of their ancestors watching over, right? Look, grandma's saying, bitch, get off your lazy ass and clean the house. Grandpa's like, here, you want another drink? The child's going to inherit the traits of the father. Good, the bad, the ugly. Does that look happy to you? They're not even sitting together. But grandma's over there saying, bitch, get off the couch and clean your fucking house. Do something. Why am I cleaning up your fucking mess? Grandpa's just handing him another drink. This masculine's just following in his family's footsteps. And the thing is, eight of wands, nine of wands, everyone's seeing this happen. Everyone's watching this thing fall the fuck apart. Eight of wands, right? Look, that one bitch is going after the other bitch. Everyone's watching this. They're watching the shit show. How's that saying go? Time for the shit show. Everyone's watching the shit show. They're watching these energies fall the fuck apart. Friends, families, loved ones. Distorted. Be careful who you bind to you. Six of Cups, Seven of Hazards, and the Four of Wands. Some of them just repeating their past. Repeating their past. Maybe Mama had some issues. That's why this King of Pentacles chooses the women that he does. King of Pentacles has some issues. He ain't getting no healing. It's passed down. From the paternal side. Maybe it comes from a family of drunks. Whatever the fuck's going on. Careful who you bind to you. You know, men tend to look for their mother. Women tend to look for their dad. But what's the good and positive traits in that? Perhaps he grew up in a household that was crazy as shit. Perhaps mama had some issues. The child will inherit the gifts of the family. Gifts of the parents. Distorted. This masculine had issues from the fucking beginning. Could have been sickly. Could have known. He, he, he took after his mama too. What's going on with this seven? The seven of pentacles here. Inherited family traits. Some of y'all, maybe mama's locked up. Maybe mama had to have some kind of uh, shock therapy or something. Mm. Notice the child on the table there. How she, you know, maybe the child had to be removed from mama when they were little. Because mama was a bit fucking nuts. The sun. And the strength.
For some of you all, maybe mama's no longer with us there. The strength card there and the sun card, right? Issues, issues, deep issues. The thing is, everyone's seeing this played the fuck out. Everyone's seeing this played the fuck out. Some of them. Told you grandma and grandpa watching, right? Grandpa's just pouring him a drink. Grandma's over there. Get off your ass, you lazy bitch. Clean your own fucking house. Why are you making the old lady do it? What the fuck are you doing sitting on your ass? Another one of them giving two shits about that child. The child is about as... Well, look at the dog. The dog looks happier than the child does. It's falling apart. Be careful who you bind to you. Everybody's watching. Everybody's waiting. Everybody's watching. Careful when you're sleeping. Keep your eyes open. Careful who you bind to you. Because they could bind you right back. Take away your escape plan. Ooh, collective. That's, that's some shit. I hope the hell that isn't y'all's energy. Perhaps that's what you all got the fuck out of. Perhaps that's what some of you were dealing with. Everybody's watching. Everybody's watching. Everybody knew how it would go. Ace of Wands. There ain't no more meat on that bone, so what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen here? That's what everyone's watching to see. What the fuck's gonna happen here? There's no more meat on that bone to grab. Six of Pentacles. Someone's gonna go chasing that meat again. Someone's gonna go astray. Because the bone's dry. There's very little meat left. The devil made him do it. The devil made her do it. The addictions. Easily accessible. He's slowly killing himself. He's like from the inside out. Careful who you bind to you. Hmm. Yeah. Careful who you bind to you. Sweet Jesus Collective. Someone is definitely getting what the hell they wanted, but it's not exactly what the fuck they wanted, was it? Whew. That's the thing, though. Everybody's watching. Eight of Wands. <laughs> the Magician, the Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Be careful the manipulation you use, because it will be returned back to you. Careful who you bind to you. Because they will bind you to them. No escape plan. Repeating karmic cycles. Family cycles. Not upgrading. There's grandpa pouring the drink. There's grandma up there saying, come on, little girl, time to get your ass busy. Grandma ain't cleaning up her mess anymore. You see that? Grandma ain't cleaning up her mess anymore. She's like, okay, little missy, it's time for you to clean up your mess. You, you got what you wanted. There you go. You got what you wanted. There he is. There's his grandpa pouring him a drink. 
careful who you bind to you, because they will bind you to them. Demons and all. Fuck it, eh, collective. That's a horrid situation. But. That's the outcome of situations, right? Be careful of who you get associated with. Be careful of your attachments. Be careful of what you do. Be careful of who you try to bind to you. Because they will bind themselves to you in return. You don't get that escape hatch. The craft, y'all. Fucking craft. These people want to throw that shit out there. The craft. Remember that scene? She wanted that guy to like her? Yeah. He did. He became obsessed. Almost to the point of uh, taking her out. Right? So, you know. All this information is out there for everybody. But people refuse to see it. That's a horrible situation. Let's send this peace, love, and light. Uh, resolution? I don't know about that. That's what you wanted. That's who you wanted. The ties that bind. It goes both ways. Damn, collective. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ring a ring. When the one you love's in love with someone else, Ooh, good old Rod Stewart, fucking a. You gotta love the hair, too. <laughs> Peace, love, and light, collective. Peace, love, and light.